What is up, besties? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Lulu to create high quality custom print on demand products. And I'm not talking about t shirts, I'm talking about books like this coloring book that I created. Use them, connected them to my Shopify store, and let them take care of all the shipping. No inventory in my house, no buying all these books, putting money up front, and not sure if I'm going to be able to sell them or not. I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to use their platform to set it all up right now. Let's get into it. All right. So we're on the lulu.com website. You're going to create you a free account. There are several tabs at the top, different products they offer, pricing ideas before you even put it in there. You can upload how many pages and get a feel for how much the, how much the printing is going to cost you per book, right? But we're doing print on demand. So the first place we're going to go is to sell. And you will see the Lulu Direct is what is used for Shopify and in all the different website integrations that can be used to make this happen for print on demand. So there's Wix, there's WooCommerce. And if you don't see your website, don't worry. They have API printing and they will integrate with any website. You just got to have like the right, um, I guess, techie person on the back end to do that stuff. I'm not 100% familiar with that. I have Shopify, so we're going to roll with that. I already have mine. So I am going to connect the Shopify store. It should automatically show that I have my Shopify connected. But if this is your first time, it'll probably look like this. You're going to see in the Shopify app store, Lulu Direct. We're going to hit open. And there it is. It says welcome T because I'm already connected. You can see my website. The T Academy is there. So that's going to be the first thing that we do before we upload everything. So when we get ready to publish the book, it'll easily like seamlessly connect to our website. All right, so we're back on the website. We're gonna now go to create and start your project. Did all of my stuff inside of Canva. I know that's not the conventional place um, where to do that at. There's Adobe Publisher. There's all these other platforms you can use. So the meat and potatoes of my book is in Canva and I downloaded everything as a PDF. So just a real quick for beginners, because I know a lot of you guys are like me. I just like simplify things. I don't like to overcomplicate it. So when you get ready to download your stuff over from Canva, you're going to select PDF print. You're going to flatten it and you're going to change it to CMYK so that it could be like high resolution. Select a product type. I want a print book. It's already selected. Super user friendly. Now we want to publish a book. We don't want to print a book, right? Printing a book means we want to buy copies. I don't want to buy copies. So I'm going to click publish a book. And it's giving you the options. Do you want to sell this on Lulu's website, their bookstore, which you can, but in this case, I don't. Do I want global distribution? No, I don't want any retailers. I want my own book. Now, if you notice, as I was clicking, it kind of resets. That's totally normal. So Lulu Direct is what we're going to use so we can put it on our e-commerce store. We're going to keep scrolling down. We're going to put a title for our book. Let's call it the self-care coloring book. We're going to put English as our language. And you're going to choose whatever category you feel best meets your book. I think the coloring book is like a hobby. And we're going to design this project. Super beginner friendly. First thing is going to be uploading the interior pages. And so it's telling you to upload it as a PDF. If you click here, you will see the instructions and all the stuff that you need to make sure you're in the right size and dimensions, et cetera, et cetera. So let's upload the interior pages of my book. All right. So it is complete. It says your book file was successfully uploaded. Please continue designing your book below. So beginner friendly, you do one thing and if you didn't do it right, it's going to tell you you didn't do it right. Once you're done, you just continue to scroll down. So now it's saying that based on what I've uploaded, this is eight and a half by 11. That is correct. And it is 42 pages on the inside, right? And now we have, what do you want these pages to be like the ink? I just want standard black and white ink. I don't want to spend a lot. It's a coloring book. This is personal preference, depending on 
what you want, and I guess the book type that you're using. So paper type, I'm going to choose white uncoated. Binding type, because of the type of book that it is, I'm going to put paper saddle. Again, this is what the book looks like. And then for the cover, I'm going to put glossy. It doesn't really matter. It's still going to be $5.47 is the price. Even if I choose matte, it's still going to be $5.47. It's just like, how do you want the cover of the book to look? Now we're going to upload the cover. Now, when you upload the cover, it's also going to be a PDF. And they do have specific dimensions that they require. And it tells you right here. So all I did was go into Canva and put these dimensions. I'll go back over here real quick and put my back cover, front cover, and got it all in there. You also have the option to create a cover. So if you click there, you can create a cover inside of here, which is cool too. Oh, I almost didn't upload the PDF. <laughs> Let me go back and put the cover, y'all. Make sure you do the stuff that I told you and if you're using Canva so that it could be high, high quality. If you don't flatten it, if you don't change it from RGB to CYMK. All right, let's scroll down to the book preview. She looks so beautiful. So one of the things that I do with my cover is I'm okay with a par portion of my art being cut off. I just don't want to get it back. Like the first one I made, I still had some like white on my cover and I'm like, oh my God. But that's the beauty of being able to order like a copy before you even put it out to the public and launch it, you know it's right. So I kind of like mine to go, my design to kind of overlap so that I have like a clean finish in the end. So that's the cover. If we continue to toggle, we can see my full book. I made sure that when I was doing everything in the publishing space that I use, like I said, I use Canva, you use where you want to use, that I already had the bleed margins. I had all of that stuff set up. If this is foreign to you and you need more details, look at the bottom of this video. I have links and stuff down there to help you out. So let's review our book. And so here it is. It is a self-care coloring book. It has the specifications, how much it's going to cost me, and a preview of what it's going to look like. So now we're going to confirm and publish this book so we can push it to our website. So once you hit confirm and publish, it will take a while sometimes to do all of that. So just have some patience, maybe go get some water or do something else. Oh, actually, that was pretty fast. So it says brr, 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 success. Congratulations. Your book was successfully published. And as you can see, we have it already connected to our Shopify store. So it is saying, are you ready to add to store? Are you ready to add to cart? So you definitely want to do both. So let's click add to store to make sure we get this pushed over to the website so you can see this. So this is our, we've done this before, but we're going to pretend this is our first time doing this. So we're going to say create a new product. You can also connect this to an existing product, but we're going to create a new project, new product. So we have the title. We can add a product description here, however you want to word that up. So we're just going to say a test for here. Y'all, one time I did this, I was teaching a class and we literally, the name of the project was Example Planner. Somebody bought three of those planners off my website. They were finished partially, but I was like, oh my God, it was so funny. All right. So we have the store price. So the store price is not going to be $5.47. The store price will be $12.99 or whatever the price you want to do um, on your book. And so then we're going to add this product and it says your store is connected. That's why I think you should connect your store before you do all the other stuff. So it is active on my website. I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, and then add to cart. Again, that would be just you buying your copy for $5.47. There's already one in my cart. Let's take that out. So you would do this. So I did this in the beginning to get a true like estimation of how long it would take so that I know what to tell customers, right? This is print on demand and it's publishing a book. So you can't be expecting in two days, this is about to get shipped out, right? In the description, you could say something like, in order to cut down waste and to cut down cost, we print these as ordered, right? So please allow seven to 10 business days for this to be processed and, you know, something like that um, in there. But anyway, let's get to the website to see if it's on the website. 
So we're gonna go to my Shopify website and we're gonna go to products and we're gonna search for test because we, no, we named it coloring book. I'm tripping. We did the product description. There it is. Just that quick, it's at the top. So I'm gonna click it. So you can see that the description is gonna say test. So you know that's the real one. That was, that was so quick. You see, it is literally right there. Of course you wanna beef this up. I'm a marketer, so I would definitely implore you to make better like uh, mock-ups, show a little bit of the inside of the book so people want to buy it. And you could change the price here. You can put, what was it, 547 Oh, no, we don't want that there. My bad, y'all. We'll put $12.99. We're going to put it down here. So it cost us five forty-seven. dollars That way you can see your true profit margin that you would make. I like $12.99 because that gives me wiggle room to do promotions, right? To do sales and stuff like that. And so we are going to hit preview because we want to see how we look on our website. And we don't have to ship nothing. All we got to do is get our copy, make us some content. And I would say, again, this is the marketer in me, get a couple copies. Give some to people so you can get some content creation from them, kind of some UGC, some unboxing and things like that. And that is it, Bestie. That is how you use Lulu to create and publish your book, leveraging their print on demand. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye.